yeah so the idea was to really go out riding today i wanted to do that around 4 4 p.m in the evening and it's now roughly about 1 or 106 in the afternoon and uh the cloud yeah it's already a little dark the clouds are gloomy it's supposed to be bright and shiny right now but it isn't and so i am forced to rethink the shooting today but that's if it rains heavy and the rain continues on throughout the day and then i am unable to ride but other than that i decided to work on my bike a little you know just to uh make sure that everything is functioning well you know that the wheel is in place the rotors are in place the brake pads are functional all of that and just do the general cleaning of the bike and i am doing all of that in anticipation that the sun will come out again or if it doesn't it just uh doesn't get too dark and it doesn't rain that way i can go out ride and uh, shoot the video because i wanted to uh show you guys the uh i wanted to show you guys my city you know do that uh cycle vlog kind of thing so yeah let's hope for the best guys if it doesn't rain we get to go out if it does i don't know i just have to rethink the whole shoot and make a video on a chair like always which which isn't something that i wanted to do but yeah i'll be right back shortly after this uh entry video okay this road is a little messed up It was okay when I left it and now it's just jammed, completely jammed. Mm. Most of this ride is just basically going to be free fall. Just as long as we can get through this interse intersection fast. That was perfect and easy. Let's try the rest of the way. <laughs> okay, so this is basically close to my neighborhood. I live around this area. right by the parliament building which is over to the left living in this city poses many challenges really one of it is finding basic tools that somebody could use for DIY jobs you know and if the contact from India does not deliver then I will have to go over to Tanzania just to get the basic tool. Sections get a little crazy and cramped up. So the market area is a bit too dusty.
bit too dusty and cramped. Yeah, it's gonna take a minute to get through this area. Uh, we're gonna get through it somehow, just... This guy can figure out what he's up to. Hoping the camera is still recording. <laughs> it's really hard for me to talk while I, while I ride. Extremely hard. extremely rare that Burundians honk that much even when you're supposed to they don't now a car that happens to be honking that much definitely got to be a foreigner and it would be a foreigner from a from places where that's common and she happens to be Indian I think she is So I am heading downtown right now towards the beach area. It should take me roughly about another five minutes to get there. Okay, this person is definitely not Burundian. No way they are Burundian hunking that much. They absolutely are not Burundian. Not even run these really. Okay, this is a little hectic. It's tricky riding around this park. <laughs> that could be scary. But we're gonna get through it somehow. Yep, I almost got Nick right there. Somebody bumped me in the back, person. It's alright, we cool. We're okay. This is basically downtown where they sell uh, furniture, ele electronics. Most of it is new, well not new because I haven't been here for a long time, but yeah. This building wasn't ready when I was here, but now it's here sell construction equipment, generators, and a whole bunch of stuff. Cool. Alright. Something's telling me I need to adjust my mic, my microphone. It's not, it's not set straight. That's not a big deal because most of the ride, I just want you guys to see stuff. It's more of seeing and not me speaking. should be home before the sun goes completely down. I've only traveled about two kilometers. But it feels like I'm so far. Oh, 
going downtown. Go back towards the camp, I think. This is the most complicated roundabout section anybody. If you're a foreigner, you're gonna need lessons in this one. Because you don't just cross here. There's rules to it. Fall the rest of the way. Race all the way through it. This is the uh, this is the compound of the uh, the brewer the brewery. Yeah, that pronunciation skips me for a bit. But this is where they make all the uh, locally produced beer and beverages, right? Fanta and everything. We are almost near the lake. Just a little bit longer to get there. And we are almost there. And I forgot to bring my mask, so that's a bummer. Star X, high sense is not that bad, but yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this is the lake right here. I think there is a hippo in the water. I don't know how clear it is. But I think there's a hippo in the water right over there. He just dived in. See that? There's a hippo in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but anyway. Let's continue on with the ride. Nigga didn't even notice I had a camera on and he was taking a piss. <laughs> Ah uh, shit, let's keep going. Let's ride out. Ah. Uh, it's going to be an awesome ride for the rest of the way, really. Oopsie, there's been an accident up ahead. Ooh, that's a bad accident. A car that just crushed into a... Ooh, that's bad. Y'all don't want to see that. Nope. Let's just continue on. But that was the fault of the black car, though. Yo, these guys can ride the crap out of these bikes. And they're not even geared. <laughs> find them here. And here is the old basketball court and the football pitch. 
We used to play football around here. Still folks playing football in this area. Y'all see that? <laughs> this area, however, seems to be out of grass. Anyway, we're gonna take a left towards my old neighborhood. There's a lot of construction and remodeling going on. Oh yeah, we cannot go up ahead because uh, that's where the national television is. And in 2015, when there was an attempted coup, a section of the army tried to take over the national television in order to announce the coup and they failed and so ever since then there's been a barricade around the national television building basically the road is completely closed yo whose wrangler is that? I've seen it a lot, man. It's like only one of them. But if they live in this area, that is not who I thought it was. Because I've heard of another person that has a Wrangler. It doesn't live here. So this is my old neighborhood. You will come across a lot of people walking running it's a Burundian thing for people to work out in the evening the old and the young they all work out in the evening and so I am supposed to take a left but in order to do that I'm gonna have to stop somewhere on the road I am unable to just lean in to the left. Hold on. Let's take, take a left from here. I feel like walking across. All right, we made it through. Let's continue on with the journey. Whew. It's a bit of an incline. It's going to be a hard sell. Just missed the clean. Yeah, these are the parts of the journey that I hate. These inclines right here. Hey, stuff. Catch up and overtake this guy. He thinks he's a shit. You can't beat me with a 26 of boy. You need to be humble. <laughs> I'm a 29er, so I should be faster. But mind you, I haven't been riding for a while. So my legs are not as strong as they used to be. Whoa. Put me in a third. <laughs> if I overtake him, I'll feel good about myself. It'll be good for my morale. 
just to take up a little bit, you know? gonna make a u-turn that's not really a u-turn just taking the right yep. you don't want to get sandwiched in between those cars This is the beauty of the bicycle, just weaving through traffic. Making everybody wish they had a bike just for a second. Leaving me to feel good about myself once again. Whew. All right, so we are basically in the middle of the city right now. This is where all the shopping takes place. I did shopping here a while back. Really expensive. A lot of people don't recognize the camera, so it's good. Not awkward, not awkward at all. I didn't see the blinker, I would have avoided that long time ago. But let's just keep riding. advantage of these spaces as much as we can. You gotta be careful here, otherwise they throw you into the drainage. <laughs> yeah, I'm signaling them just to let them know that I'm in there. He wants to be a little stubborn. Yep, we got through that one without having to totally slow down. Now the rest of the way home is a long incline. 
one I am sure that I will completely detest. <sighs> but I chose to come up this way, so yeah. It's been 32 minutes so far. Let's do it. I've been looking for a job for a while now, but have been completely limited because I do not have my ID card yet. I mean, I lost the old one, and so I'm in the process of renewal to get a new one. That and the fact that I don't have a license yet. A driving license, that is. That's my limitation so far with getting a job. My brother took the same route for roughly about 47 minutes. See how long it's gonna take me because it's already 33 minutes. Can I possibly get home? Yeah, this is going to take a minute. Just need to have people that are a little understanding. word is that traffic on this road jeez okay well that sucks yeah that's the lady Okay, seriously. Yeah, he is a seasoned rider. <laughs> Definitely. With a roadie. Yeah, this is a good this is a long time. Fuck. It's gonna kill me. But we'll make it one way or the other.
yeah i i did not want to see you guys to see me struggle through that incline it was a long inclination yeah that was not pretty at all that was deadly Whew. boy oh boy And the map is still not showing up. I don't know why, but uh, okay. Start over again. I hate it when people stop in front of me like that. I'm not a car, so I'm not meant, I'm not made of high torque, initial torque. It's a struggle coming out in reverse then. Don't go in straight forward. Go in go in and reverse to make it easy. Easy, I'm up. Ah, serve it. 